All right, as many of you know, one of my all-time favorite saddles is the Overwatch Outdoors Transformer. It, for my hunting style, it was just perfect. So I, I talked to Jamie a lot about what he's got in the works, and he's come out with a brand new saddle. So quite a bit different from the Transformer, but it shares some of the same characteristics. This is his entry into kind of the so-called pleated saddle market. So this is more of a traditional saddle design than what we saw in the Transformer. This saddle is called the Overwatch Outdoors Orion. As you can see here, it is a pleated saddle design. It's got a slightly different design than a lot of the saddles that we're seeing on the market. And when we put this on the tabletop, I'll talk through some of the features and point those things out to you. But uh, nice thing about these saddles is Jamie is going to make these in-house custom by himself by hand. So when you order one of these, you know that Jamie is making it. The quality is second to none, best in the industry, in my opinion. There, there's a couple of manufacturers I would say are, are close on par, Dryad being one of them, but the stitching and the production quality that you get from Overwatch is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've talked to a number of people who have owned this saddle. One guy had a Cruiser XC and bought one of these and said that it blew it out of the water. So I'm going to walk you through all the features of this saddle, talk you through kind of the stats of it, then we're going to take it outside, put it on the tree. I'm going to show you how I use it and give you some of my thoughts on it to wrap up. So I'm excited about this one guys. Can't wait to show it to you. So get us started, let's talk about the sizing of this saddle. This is a size one, Jamie's gonna have size ones and size two. He can also do custom stuff because he's doing this all in house. So if you're a really, really big guy and, and you need a big size, just reach out to Jamie and I'm sure he'll custom make one for you. But uh, this is a size one. This saddle, because it has such fantastic hardware, it's one of the, the only saddle on the market that I know of that has both a rated waist buckle and rated buckles that are removable for the leg strap. So because it's got that you know additional hardware, it's just a few ounces heavier than some of its competitors. This saddle weighs two pounds and three ounces, so 35 ounces. So you're probably five to six ounces heavier than some of those kind of all mesh saddles like the CGM Cobra or, or a Cruiser, uh, something comparable to that. Uh, this saddle is also made of Cordura, which makes it a little bit heavier than a mesh saddle, but I really like the feel of Cordura. I find it very, very comfortable. All right, guys, so we have the Overwatch Outdoors Orion here on the table. We're gonna kind of walk you through all its features and show you some of the unique things about it. One of the unique things about it is its shape. You'll notice that it has just a very slight curve to the top a little more pronounced curve on the bottom, but as far as pleated saddles go, this has the smallest body of a pleated saddle that I've ever used. So let me give you some dimensions. When closed, it's just over 11 inches tall and 23 and a half inches wide or so. And then, you know, on one of the unique things, it's a little bit boxier in shape. And so the chassis does not come to a, you know, point out here it's it's more squared so you can see the distance from the top panel is six inches from the top ch chassis strap to the bottom one on each side and that just helps to reduce hip pinch there's a piece of webbing buried in here to help keep that a little bit more stiff and open the other unique thing about this is that the bridge loops extend out a little bit longer than a typical saddle so you can see the space between the body and the tip of the bridge loop is a little bit longer in proportion to a lot of other saddles on the market i'm going to give you a bridge loop to bridge loop length here and that looks like it is just about 39 inches. And keep in mind, this is the smallest size that he makes. So very unique saddle from a design perspective. A molly, a tight molly on the top and on the bottom, as well as these kind of gear loops, which are really nice for uh, kind of hooking up an auto block if you're going to rappel or something like that, even clipping a carabiner on it. I just like having one or two of those on my saddle, and I like tight molly. So this is just perfect in, in my world. Big lineman loops, 
pretty stiff. They are floppy though. So uh, you might notice those get in your way a time or two, but just overall, you know, nice quality. They're reinforced. Let me talk to you a little bit about the panel connecting straps. Same panel connecting straps we saw on the transformer. Kind of that ladder lock design. You just tip them up, pull the slack out the bottom. They have thumb grabs on each side, which is just a nice feature. You can see this pleat is, is not uh, the biggest pleat in the world. If I open up one side of the pleat, I gain about two inches or so. We went from 11 to about 13. And then if I open up both of them across the body here, we go to about 15. So um, let me show you that again. About 13. So uh, you gain about two inches with each side of the pleat. So you know, it's, you're not swimming in this saddle. So if you want the comfort of a pleated saddle, but you don't want to swim in the thing, this is a really, really good option. The nice thing about these ladder locks is you can, you know, set them to keep one side open. So let's say I want just the top side open. I can pull the top side up and then adjust these to the right length. And that way, if I'm up and moving around, and for some reason it pops closed on me, all I have to do is pull the saddle to the stopping point and I'm gonna be right back where I was before. So that's just a cool feature that you don't see on any other pleated saddle. The leg straps are the only ones on the market that are removable and yet, you know, load rated. So he's using Austria Alpin kind of frames on, on the side here and these just thread out. So you can unthread that and then boom, that hangs there and you take your leg strap off. ADF Raptor buckles on both the leg straps and on the waist. So to take this off the bottom, I would just feed it out of the Raptor buckle and then pull it through that kind of frame that's in the bottom and, and my, you know, one side of my leg loop is off. So it's very, very easy to to do that. Uh, the other nice thing is you can adjust kind of the position on, you know, in relation to your leg. So you can feed more strap into this buckle and it, you know, would seat it more toward the inside of your leg. Or if you want it to ride up a little higher, you can take some length out. So that's a nice feature that not a lot of other saddles have. Let me flip it over and we'll kind of walk you through the remaining features from the other side. You can see the waist buckle here. It is an ADF Raptor buckle. The downside with this buckle is that it's it's a little bit noisy. It can be a little bit noisy. Some companies are taking a piece of webbing and wrapping it through there. You could also take, you know, I've taken a small, just, you know, rubber band and threaded it through there a couple of times. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to get it through now. Just threaded that through there a couple times, tied it shut. Usually I tie it twice, but that helps to quiet it down quite a bit. So it could be anything, piece of paracord, whatever. It doesn't have to be a piece of webbing. And then it has tri-glides on either side that you can contain the um, kind of tag ends of the belt with. So that's pretty nice. Not much to show you on this side other than, you know, just the quality of the stitching. Look at that. There is not a loose stitch anywhere on the saddle. Jamie is, you know, one of the best in the industry, no doubt about it. Um, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's a small piece of webbing that runs from here to here. Uh, right in through this section just to help close that that pleat and keep it closed or keep it open and uh, provide a little bit of reinforcement on the side so that's that's a nice little touch that's buried in there the bridge is just a simple rope bridge i think this is nine millimeter sterling htp tied on this side it's bulky guys um I, i'm not gonna lie to you about that i i don't like the bridge but uh, the friction hitch locks down tight, but then moves very, very easily. So from a function perspective, this bridge is 
probably the easiest one that I've ever used to adjust. But you'll notice there's no adjustment up and down the bridge loop. So you miss out on some customization there. Bridge loops are reinforced. They're pretty stiff. Um, but uh, just, just no ability to adjust with the stock bridge. So I'm going to show you when we get outside on the tree an aftermarket bridge on there that will allow you to add some more uh, customization to the fit and feel of this saddle. So overall, guys, just top-notch build quality, some unique features in it that we haven't seen, and a very unique design as far as pleated saddles go with it being a little bit boxier and having more space uh, in the opening near your hip to help prevent hip pinch. So uh, I like the design. Let's put it in the tree, and I'll give you some concluding thoughts about it. All right, y'all, we're outside with the Overwatch Orion. I just kind of want to walk you guys through how how it functions, how it wears, all the kind of practical things we talk about in saddle reviews. So, you know, step through the bridge. The the buckles are really nice. They're they're just they're just solid. They're affirmative clicks. He's got tri glides on each side that you can contain the webbing. I don't use the one on the right. Then you reach through, grab the leg straps. The nice thing about Jamie's design is you can adjust the length of the leg straps. So right now this is let out all the way and you can see it hangs down pretty low. I can just feed length into this tri-glide, pull it tight, brings it up a little bit higher, makes it run a little bit more inside. So that's a really nice feature. He's the only person that has rated leg straps that are also removable. So can't beat that guys. But anyway, uh, one of the downsides of this saddle, most of the downsides of this saddle, I guess, that I've discovered revolve around the bridge. Um, it's got a bulky knot. It adjusts very, very easily. As a matter of fact, you can use it to tend itself, feed the tag in through the bridge loop, and it'll tend itself, which is nice. But that's all the tighter. You can pull it together due to the bulk of that knot. So I typically just kind of wrap it up as best I can for the walk-in to get it get it out of the way. Not perfect, but not bad either. Let me spin around. You'll be able to see kind of how this rides. It rides pretty high up, so I don't find it cumbersome to walk in at all. Uh, the leg straps are pretty comfortable to walk in with. I like to have them high and fairly tight for the walk-in so that they're not sagging down on my leg, and then I'm basically like walking into the, the slack, if you know what I mean. So. Overall, it's a, it's a good saddle. It's not as, as tight or as wearable, so to speak, as some other ones that I've tried, but it's far from being the worst I've ever tried. So let me throw it on the tree here and we'll kind of talk you guys through comfort and the one change that I am making with this saddle. All right, well, now that we're up in the tree, I'm gonna talk through kind of the function of the Overwatch Orion and give you some, some pros and cons about it. Overall, I think it's a really nice saddle. I, I found that it needs a little bit lower tether height, at least for me. And I think that's due to the fact that you cannot adjust the bridge up and down the bridge loops. So you're gonna have to play with your tether height a lot with this kind of a saddle. Because you, you cannot adjust the pitch down here, you have to adjust the angle on the tree. So you're probably gonna have to move your tether you know, up or down, depending on whether you're leaning or sitting. So right now I've got it about shoulder height, which seems to be kind of a happy medium, but it's not perfect. So after I talk through a little bit here about its function, I'm actually gonna show you guys an adjustable bridge on this saddle that I think adds a lot to, to the comfort of it. So let's talk about the bridge real quick. It's super easy to adjust. To let it out though, you do have to kind of get up let a little weight off of it, but you can see there is just a massive amount of bridge length. I mean, I'm gonna fall off. I mean, just, just tons of length. So that's kind of nice. But like I said, if you route the tag end through your bridge loop, you can use it to tend it and shorten it. And so it shortens up really, really easy. So that's a nice feature. All right, so let me talk a little bit about leaning and sitting in this saddle and the pleat and comfort and all that kind of thing. So when I'm leaning, I've, I've found I just like to keep the pleat closed by and large. It's, it's pretty comfortable for leaning. You just gotta make sure that the straps aren't you know, on your iliac crest or going across your hip joint. The saddle is wide enough 
that I at least have enough room to, to get the two straps over those two places, even though it's kind of a smaller put footprint as far as saddles go. Kind of the hallmark feature, as I mentioned indoors, are these adjustment straps. To open the plate, you're just gonna flip those up, roll your thumbs down, and then you can, you can open the pleat. So I like to just kind of roll the bottom of it out, roll the, tuck the top back in, and then lean into that. I find that gives me just enough extra support without making me feel, you know, swallowed. The nice thing is once I've got that set, I can just roll these down and I know that no matter how I position or how I rotate, the top is not going to stretch out and open. So very comfortable to lean like this. I do get a little pressure down here on the bottom. That's why I've gone with the adjustable bridge because that'll tune that right out. So if I was going to sit in it, I'll open the pleat up all the way. Once again, just roll it up, open the pleat. I let a little tether length out. Usually it's not more than an inch or two. And I go down into my sitting position. And this is pretty comfortable. You know, I, I think it's on par with, with most of the other single panel saddles that I've sat in. I, I do though feel like the, the bridge that I'm using makes a big, big difference. So let me throw that bridge on here now and I'll just kind of explain to you guys the function of that and why it increases the comfort so much. All right, so now I have my adjustable bridge on here and I'm using an Amsteel Whoopi bridge that's adjustable from the Amsteel guy. It doesn't really matter what bridge you use, just as long as it girth hitches or has a, a you know, prusik type wrap along the bridge loops, it cinches down solid so that you have the ability to move that adjustment up and down the bridge loop. So when I'm leaning, even with the pleat all the way open, it, it's really comfortable this way. I have it probably an inch and a half from the end of the reinforcement here and I get really nice back support. And I mean, you could, you can lead like this all day long. I mean, it's just very, very comfortable. No hot spots, no straps near my hip or uh, my iliac crest. It's just very comfortable, really good support. Um, you, you could hunt like this for, for a long, long time. Now, if I'm gonna sit, I typically push it a little bit back toward the center. So not much, you know, maybe a half an inch. It often doesn't take a whole lot on these adjustments. Three quarters of an inch maybe. Then sit down. And now, as opposed to the last bridge I had on the stock one, I had more pressure up top. Now I have a lot more pressure down in the bottom and for me, that's a little more, that's more comfortable. You're gonna have to play around with it, but I've found that by adding an adjustable bridge to this saddle, it just takes it to, to a whole nother level. It's, it's a super comfortable saddle that really is not a big footprint. A lot of these saddles that you see nowadays have these just monstrous pleats and it's tons of fabric because by and large, the more fabric there is, the more comfortable it is. But, but Jamie's got the design of this, the curvature, everything just seems to work together well to make it very comfortable, but yet in a package that isn't very cumbersome. I think it's very comfortable like this, but let's say you, know, you, you wanted a little bit more support up in your back. All I gotta do is go back you know, a quarter of an inch the other way. And it doesn't take much, like I said, you know, to really feel those differences, just, just money. So guys, I, I found this to be really nice. I typically only use the straps for two things. Walking in, I have them cinched all the way down. I don't have to worry about the pleat opening, which is a really, really nice feature. And then if I want to keep just the bottom half open or the top half open, I will cinch them down once I get it set. That way it doesn't walk open the rest of the way. But just a really well thought out saddle, guys. Very, very comfortable. The craftsmanship of anything that you will buy from Overwatch is the best in the business. It is as good as everything else out there, TX5 included. It's just top notch stuff. So I would encourage you guys, if you're looking for a saddle and you want a single panel design with a pleat, 
check out Overwatch. Jamie's a great guy to deal with. So uh, hope this has been helpful to you guys who are looking for a saddle. Once again, if you like this video, click the like button, click subscribe. I appreciate your support and I hope you guys have a successful hunting season.